Okay, <clears throat> it's about that time. It's springtime. I'm going to take my uh, trailer out for a spin, so I'm going to uh, put the hitch on and and take it out and test it out because we're going to be going on a trip again in um, in June, and it's almost the end of March. So I'll be back in a minute. Bye. Normally when we travel, I put this on. It's a lockable um, hitch underneath the motorcycle so they can't um, unhook the hitch that I put on and take the trailer. And I also have a lock on, <clears throat> a paddle lock on that trailer and I'll show you that too. But I won't use this today just to, just to test it out. I'm going to use this one here. I'll just use this pin, but I'll put it in here, Let go aside, and I'll put it underneath the mofo. I won't show you that because it's pretty simple, but hold on, I'll be back. Okay, this is pretty simple. I just pick it up, put it on the hitch, make sure it's, I just pry it forward, and I lock it, and when I travel, I put a pedal lock right there as well so they can't <clears throat> steal the hitch and I got a lock on that one underneath there too but I got um, these really easier oh I might have them too short let me see I kind of hook them up like that well there we go I might have to Unless I got it twisted in there. Might have to let that one out a couple more. Nope, there we go. <clears throat> Just got twisted up. <clears throat> we all get in there. There we go. And then I'll hook uh, this up. Let me put this... Uh, whoop, probably holding it sideways. Holding the camera sideways. I'll hook it up like this. Usually I do it. I got it all right well. I do it like this. There we go. Had my camera sideways, so I probably won't be able to use that. <clears throat> I got my new uh, Arctic cooler that my wife made a new cover for, and I used the other one. But, uh,. I got my air shocks and I got them aired up about right for this. <clears throat> so now I'll start this up and um, put it in neutral. Hold on a second. Now I've got to test the lights. Well, those running lights are working now I test the blinkers and the tail uh, the license plates working left blinkers working <clears throat> right blinkers working now we test the flashers flashers are working so everything's working so now I'll take it for a test drive I'm gonna go ahead and put this camera on the on the trailer because I think it's a pretty cool view anyway bye okay got on the highway so I want to see how that I think I, I, I hooked up both of them to the Bluetooth because I tested them but I don't see that red light blinking but it's too far away I think it is because the remote kind of shows funky that two of them are on. But anyway, see how this thing handles. It handles really good. I put the, oh, the air shocks on probably, I, last time I used it, I had the air shocks. So it worked out really well. I don't know if you remember, but when I really noticed it was in not working well, that year we went to Zion and we were in those tunnels 
and man I can hear things going kaboom blah, blah, boom, kaboom boom boom you know just making all kinds of noise and it was a damn trailer bouncing because the shocks the original shocks on that thing before they you know the original shocks on that thing were useless um, so it just bounced and and the air shocks are incredible and the air shocks are only like 65 bucks for two of them and uh, I put them on myself it's so simple to do I mean it comes with everything uh, you know the the hoses and everything and then I, the the people I bought the trailer from they started using these air shocks too that's how I got the idea but they started charging like f I think four to six hundred dollars more for the trailers just because they put $65 air shocks on them so I guess they're getting it they're getting it but I got a good deal on mine when I bought it a few years ago and I've done some stuff I've done the air shocks and I fixed the you know new bushings I bought titanium tubing from China and I cut it and put the new bushings in and new bearings and so that should be working really well I got my little GoPro tethered back there I don't have the uh, actual GoPro tethered. I got the little GoPro case tethered, so hopefully it doesn't come out of the case. Anyway, I'm hoping it looks pretty smooth. Should be. I remember I took it on this road the year I first got it with the original horrible shocks. And you could just see the whole thing just completely vibrate, like just out of control, vibrating and, and bouncing. And that's how I lost my GoPro. Uh, a couple years ago, I had a Hero, brand new Hero 4 Silver with the um, Senna backpack. And, and I had it mounted on there and I didn't have it tethered. And I just happened to look back and it, and it just vibrated and broke. And it broke off. So I lost $500 GoPro set up a few years ago so that was frustrating so now I tether everything and if it falls off I don't lose it it just bounces around for a little while on the side of the trailer but anyway I'm gonna it's kind of nasty out kind of cloudy it's warm I'm see I'm wearing shorts oh uh, my family's still in in Illinois they got like 15 inches of snow yesterday which is bizarre I mean ungodly amounts of snow but today they said I heard it was supposed to be 40 degrees so a lot of it will melt well, it'll take a while for it all to melt it'll turn to slush but I told my sister-in-law I'll go out and ride my motorcycle in shorts for you <laughs> I like to rub it in. Anyway, bye. Okay, heading back. Turn around, going back in the other direction. I always check to make sure my my hub, little hub caps stay on because I lost them one time. I actually spent a day and a half looking for it, but I found it. Back at that, well, I saw it fall off and roll down to the embankment, but I actually did find it the following day. Let's see, I'm going 65 miles an hour, so hopefully this thing's not bouncing at all. We'll test it out and see. Anyway, bye. Oh, I ordered uh, some of those Pathfinder LED lights for the front of my for my motorcycle because so I keep burning out those those cheapo halogens. I put. I put one in on the left side a few weeks ago and then I went for a long ride and I come back and the right side was burned out. So I replaced the low beams on this thing probably three to four times on each side. So I'm not going to buy those cheap old halogen bulbs anymore. I bought the uh, Pathfinders. They should, should look like they're very simple to install. But if I really like them, I'm going to buy another set and put them in the high beams. I bought some, uh, what do you call them, uh, LED bulbs one time. They were, oh, it had a something like a, that you didn't have to do anything but just plug in the bulbs. 
and they weren't even bright enough I couldn't even see the road ahead of me so I got rid of those put the halogens back in they were white but you couldn't see the freaking road because you got black asphalt roads you could it didn't even light it up so I got rid of those they were they were cheapos anyway bye